What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Now, you're probably looking at this video intro and thinking, Mikey Sin, what in the world are you doing? This is not a bicycle. You're not drawing. You're not taking some photography and throwing it up to us. You're not playing a video game. You're not hiking and you're not parasailing and tennis and rock climbing and spelunking and deep sea diving and putting a puzzle together and coloring and you get the idea, right? You get the idea. Today we're talking about a little bit of what we call cooking. A little bit of cooking going on here. Nothing extravagant, nothing crazy. It's something I cook all the time. I like to pan cook. And my steaks, um, if you will, iron skillet. That's how I roll. A little bit of iron skillets here. I'm hoping that the video is looking okay. I've only got this sorry excuse for a light here. A sorry excuse for a light there. I'm hoping that it's going to turn out okay. Let's go over here and take a look at some stuff. Let's put this remote down right here. Let's take a look at the meat of choice. I don't buy expensive. I am on a tight budget. And I don't really care about expensive meats. I eat what I eat, and it's good. As long as you know how to cook it, it's good. This right here is Chuck Steak. Four point, no, it's nine, nine, point nine nine pounds. And it's only four dollars and forty-five cents. It's a decent piece of meat. Decent, I tell you. I didn't say it was incredible. Okay, this is not the most incredible piece of beef that you're gonna buy, but you can get these cuts of meat at your local Kroger, at your local IGA, possibly Walmart, I don't know. Um they range anywhere from three some odd dollars to six, seven, eight, whatever. Um, I usually get them and they, they're around four and a half to five or so dollars. And it cooks up just fine. So let's get it started, shall we? Alright guys. We are turning the eye on high. I turn her on high. I turn it on high in the beginning to get it going. I'm going to throw a little bit of some oil in. And we're going to get started. Boop. Just a little bit. A little bit. Now, we're going to let that get going. Get some heat under it. Because what the heat does, whenever you throw that piece of loving, loving, sweet, sweet beef on there, is it's going to instantly sear it. And it's going to lock in those juices and the flavors and the fats are going to cook and everything's going to get that nice little crisp crust on it that we love. It tastes so good and it's amazing. So we're going to let this heat up for about, oh, about a minute or so, and it'll be ready, and we'll get back. What I like to do is throw a little pepper on. Okay? I like to throw a little salt on. Got it? And if I have A1, or if I have some sort of meat, uh meat uh, sauce of some sort I put it on a lot of times I will use soy sauce because I have soy sauce and don't worry it tastes pretty darn good now you're gonna notice we got some steam coming off the pan she's ready to go all right we're gonna turn the timer on
turn the timer on for about three minutes. I've got it on whatever setting that is right there. And we're letting her go. And while it's cooking on that side, I'm going to pepper this side. Okay. And I'm going to salt this side. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of soy sauce on this side. And then I'm going to take these and do like this. I'm going to spread it around. Believe me, it's going to turn out really good. See, we got it on a nice, we have it on a nice high heat. Uh, it's not all the way high, but almost high. And it's going to sear that up. It's going to get a nice little crust on there. And it's going to be good. So here we go. We got just over a minute left on the timer. And then we're going to flip her over. And there we go. Let's flip her over. Look at that. Now we're going to throw some onion in there. Because I like onion. Quick, easy, to the point. Now I did turn down the heat just a little bit. Uh, because the pan is plenty hot. So I did turn it down just a bit. As you can tell, right here. So we'll let we'll let that cook up, and then we'll go from there. And there, the timer's done. We're gonna let it go for just another minute. Let them onions get done. Put that lid on. Cut the heat off. Go for about one more minute and we should be good to go. I already threw my baked potato in the microwave. It's done. Ready to go. Uh, so that shows you right there, you can have you a nice little steak dinner in no time. No time at all, I tell you. No time. Alright. Timer just went off. Onions are nice and done. Looking good. See all that crust on there? Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. I'll go over with it one time just for the heck of it. Just to make sure. Now guys, I don't like my steaks bloody. I don't have to have them pink and all that. Uh, I would rather have it closer to more done uh, because from my experience it's usually a more tender. Um, if you get it a little less done, in my experience it seems a little harder to cut and like it kind of strings along when you're cutting it. Now I've had it pink pink and I've had it pinkish and I've had it everything in between to done. So. That's just how I choose to do it. Your experiences may differ. You cook it how you want. The good thing is it didn't cost a lot of money. So you can do this uh, on a budget like I have to do. And still get a good meal out of it. No matter what. So let's see it. Yeah. Looking good there.
Look at that beautiful meal right there. Look at that. <whistles> Guys, that right there is how you cook a quick steak. Um, I use the iron skillet like I said. I put just a little bit of oil in it one time. And got me a baked potato. Have it on a separate plate. It doesn't get to go on the same plate as my steak. It's not worthy. Not worthy, my man. So, I'm about to enjoy this. Hope you enjoyed my little video. It's something a little different. I haven't done a cooking video in forever. And the only one I ever have done is a spaghetti video. And I didn't really even film the thing, I don't believe. I just kind of had the camera out here. I don't know. I was just filming it. So, I hope you learned a little something. Hope you can teach me a little something. I don't know everything about cooking. Do you? I don't. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free, for fun, for myself, for you, for everyone. Guys, don't forget, get up, get out, get ready and do it to it. Even when cooking a steak on a budget. Look at that steak on a budget. You see that steak? I'm going to eat that cow. I'm about to eat, my friend. See y'all later.